In this video, we'll balance the net ionic equation for Al plus H2SO4. This is aluminum plus sulfuric acid. With net ionic equations, the first thing we do is we balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I'll do this for you. It's 2, 3, 1, 3. And if you need help balancing this, there's a link in the description on how to really balance the molecular equation. Next, we'll write the state for each substance. Aluminum, that's a metal. It's just going to be a solid. Sulfuric acid, that's a strong acid. It's a strong electrolyte, and it's going to dissolve and water break apart into ions. We call that aqueous. Aluminum sulfate, that's also aqueous. We could check that on a solubility chart or just know that aluminum sulfate, that's an aqueous compound. Little AQ, that's going to dissolve and dissociate. Hydrogen, that is a gas. So we have the states for each substance. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and that's going to give us the complete ionic equation. So for aluminum, that's just aluminum metal. So we're just going to write 2Al. I won't write the states right now. We can do that later. Plus the sulfuric acid. We said that's a strong electrolyte. That's aqueous. So we need to split this apart. Hydrogen forms one plus ions. So we have two of these hydrogens here. So three times two, six hydrogen ions, and then the sulfate group, that's always two minus. Good one to remember. So we have three sulfate ions. And those are the reactants. For the products, aluminum, that forms three plus ions, and the sulfate we said is two minus. So in the products, we have the aluminum, and we have two of them because of that subscript, two aluminum, three plus ions, plus three sulfate ions. And then we have three H2, three hydrogen here. We do not split these gases apart. So plus three H2. So this is the complete or total ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They appear on both sides of the ionic equation. As I look at this, the only things that appear in the reactants appear in the products, these three sulfate ions here. So since we have three sulfate ions here and three here, we can cross those out. But everything else is unique, and that'll give us the net ionic equation for Al plus H2SO4. Let me clean this up. I'll add the states in, and we'll have our net ionic equation for aluminum plus sulfuric acid. And this is the net ionic equation for aluminum plus sulfuric acid. You'll note we have two aluminum atoms six hydrogen atoms here, three times two, six here. And if we look at charge, we have six positive charges here, two times three plus, that gives us a six plus. So atoms and charge are conserved in our balanced net ionic equation for Al plus H2SO4. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.